something fun, creative, colourful, something to match the sari that I did in my last tutorial. So here goes, starting with Huda Beauty Foundation and applying um, the colour Baklava all over my face, um, missing out my highlight areas and under my eyes, which I'll do later. wanting something white so I'm taking this concealer here and applying that to my base it will make the colors pop and applying a little translucent white powder just to set that will create a beautiful canvas and a smooth finish for some eyeshadow Uh-oh, this looks very bright, but it's not. It's the light that's picking up on the reflex that's within this eyeshadow, but this just here creates a beautiful base for the brow bone, highlighting it and lifting it up and without it being too glitzy and too over the top. Okay, so if you saw my tutorial for the sari draping, you'll know that my sari is two-toned. It looks purple at the back right now in the background, but it actually, when the light hits it, it looks blue. So I wanted to create like a blue and a purpley look here. So taking this matte blue and applying it just as a gentle base all around the outside of my eye, bringing it upwards into the crease and then down under the eye, and then using a lilac on the inner parts. I'm just doing a very light wash, um, almost watercolor look with this eye for the moment um, as a I wanted the kind of gradient effect underneath before I lay on my stronger colors on top This in itself is so beautiful and very nice in its pastel form, but I'm just using the same colors but with a pencil brush that's very densely packed so that I can get a lot of color on there um, to create my shape and give me a guideline for where I want to place the glitter. I'm no longer a fan of black eyeliner. I haven't been doing it much lately, so using this purple here just to um, hide my skin area. Uh, Rajni will thank me for this, <laughs> but I'm highlighting, I'm, I'm hiding my skin area and then I'm using it to apply my eyeliner. It's really, really smooth, so it's, it makes light work and there's no brush necessary to smooth out. Alright, this is where magic happens. I picked this up at one of the beauty shows that I went to and I've only just used it for the first time today and oh my god, I cannot remember how much I paid for it, but it's beautiful. Just look at the glitter. So the base there just makes the glitter stick to only where that base is, which is why I'm unable to spread it. So I'm having to go back into the oil, pick up some more glitter and apply it, which is really nice that it's not all over my face. <laughs> Look at me, I'm just so excited about this glitter. And then I'm taking another shade in the Inglot glitter this time with the same lit base and applying that in between as my transition colour. I will blend the two as well so that there's not like a, a line of colour here and a line of colour there, but it's, it's great to just do that to start off with and then um, as your last step, blend between the two. So with all the glitter and the sparkle going on, I've decided to pick a matte color for the inner corners just to kind of give it some balance. And then what I'm gonna do is take it up above the blue as well.
taking the lightest rainbow kind of blue I've got. So this blue, when you swatch it, it looks more like a lilac-y colour. Um, a a lilac-y mixed with blue kind of duochrome. So I'm applying that in the between the two just to transition that lilac and that uh, blue colour that I applied. And then um, wanting to highlight the inner part of my, um, the inner corners of my eyes. So I'm really focusing on that area this time. I'm really trying to go in and hit it with some bright colour. This cherry stick is available anymore. I think it was a limited edition, and Maya and I just picked it up before um, it was discontinued. But we love it. I've got one, she's got one. Um, and when it comes to just a quick pop of colour, this one's amazing. applying concealer to cover under my eyes where I didn't apply any foundation and using a brush to roll it through also going to be a little bit extra with it and put some under my cheekbones and in the center of my forehead between my brows uh, in a very lopsided way you can see I'm more to the left than I am to the right with this one but once you blend through it's not going to make that much of a difference Girl, I told you I was going to be a little bit extra with this one. So applying a slightly darker shade at the top of my forehead and then down the sides of my face, my temples and down towards my um, jaw area. Couldn't think what it was called for a minute and then blending that through with the same foundation brush that I've been using. wanting to create a glowy look I've decided not to use a lot of powder just the tiniest amount um, and where I need it the most I couldn't for the life of me decide the blush color so sometimes it's just better to do the lips and then decide later um, which blush would work with the lip color that you're applying so I decided to go for a purple just because I was already blue heavy and I'll let's face it I wasn't gonna wear a blue lipstick I actually get my brides to do this, it just stops lipstick from getting onto the teeth later on. I'm using this gadget on my own for the first time. It was uh, demonstrated on me at one of the beauty shows. It's a heated eyelash um, curler and basically does light work of your lashes so that when you do apply mascara, it looks amazing. Actually, mine was tried at the show with mascara on and it was still so good. So you can see the results right here.
all jewels, headwear, and uh, the bindis are from my web store. If you made it this far, thank you so much for watching. Please do uh, leave me a comment, hit the thumbs up, uh, subscribe with notifications on if you haven't already, and do check out my other videos. Thank you so much, and take care, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.